All right, hey everyone, this is Ash. Welcome back to The King's Speech. Uh, so no big preamble before this chapter. We're just going to dive straight into it. Excuse me. Uh, so let's get into Kaiju number 8, chapter 54 by Naoya Matsumoto, with translation by David Evelyn and lettering by Brandon Bovia. And we see a woo as the giant clouds start dissipating after the giant explosion. And you see a bruised and bloodied Kafka kind of cough pulling himself out from underneath this rubble which had collapsed on him after he protected Kikoru. Uh, come on. And he's just kind of surveying the damage done by number nine's explosion as he went to get away. And you see as his kaiju mask is kind of like starting to flake away, uh, he thinks back to number nine telling him, the next time I make a move will mark the start of the kaiju era. And he has, he's thinking, don't you dare say crap like that with the director general's face. As he just lets out a giant damn it. Sorry, I'm not going to scream it just because I don't want to stress my throat out by doing that. And you see Narumi's kind of distorted expression. As he's kind of like gritting his teeth. Uh, you know, looking at his failure to protect us out. And you see the rest of the uh, units kind of just uh, kind of relaying instructions as they're trying to uh, pick up the debris and everything, clean up the mess that was left after the battle. And she has fast vestiges of the kaiju former fading away. Kafka's just got tears streaming down his eyes. And you see, two days later, now, in tragic news, the Neutralization Bureau was announced that in the most recent kaiju cat cataclysm, uh, Defense Force Director General Isao Shinomiya died in the line of duty. For more than 30 years since his days as captain, Mr. Shinomiya served at the heart of Japan's kaiju neutralization efforts. News of his untimely death is expected to have a profound impact on the defense force and send shockwaves of grief throughout the organization. Alright, I'll touch on that at the end. And we see Ariake and Maritime Base 1st Division and you see all the 1st Division lined up in jet black uh, funeral clothes as they've got a procession set up for Isao. And you see, rifles ready! Aim! As they do the gun salute to send him off. And you hear, fire! Uh, as Kafka and Arumi and the rest all salute uh, for a send off. You see Tachikawa Base 3rd Division. You see, uh, God, why can I not remember her name? Oh, Lord, it's one of those days. I cannot remember anyone's names, but, oh, Lord, you know what? I'm going to look it up or else it's just going to bug me. Apologize, but this is what happens to my brain these days. It's just Mina. Uh, so you see Mina with her division and uh, Hoshino with his. All saluting as you see all the other divisions also doing the same. And you see Matsumoto base 4th division. I, f I don't think we've seen 4th division before, but I feel like we've seen whoever the blonde person is in Kanazawa base's second division. You see all of them saluting. Isao's you have fire. And you see, oh, poor Kikoru. And you see in the director general's office, just slumped onto her father's desk, looking all despondent, tears streaming down her face. You see Kaka looking over as he sees that uh, notes are absent from the funeral. And he's thinking to himself, guess you didn't show up after all, Kikoru. And you have a sh as uh, Narumi makes his way into the office, he goes, Are you sure you're okay with not attending the service? She goes, I wasn't able to do anything. I was too late to make an impact and too weak to save him. She kind of just grits her fingers and goes, It's my fault that it escaped. And Narumi decides to go, That isn't true. And she interrupts with Captain Narumi. Oh, God. Straight punch to the heart. As you see, just... Ikori just snot flowing down her nose, tears in her eyes. She goes, I want to become stronger. Oh, that is a very impactful and effective use of a two-page spread. God damn. Now she's wiping the tears away. She goes, I'm sure daddy is still trapped inside of that thing. I will mourn him when the defense force neutralizes that creature once and for all. And you see Narumi just kind of blankly assessing her she goes i'm sorry for losing my composure sir i'll ex i'll accept the penalty for my unauthorized 
And he turns around and goes, Shinomiya, but the next time we encounter that thing, I'll make sure your strength is unrivaled by all but my own. I'll take what Mr. Asao drilled into me and drill it into you. Keep up and show me results. Do that and I'll overlook your absence at the service. And you see outside Kafka's just crouched by the door with a look of determination on his face. Huh. And you see him looking down at his arm. There's one black streak. Uh, one black streak uh, along near one of his knuckles. He looks down at it before he puts on a glove. And he goes, I swear, I'm going to kick number nine's ass. As he walks off. Ooh, all right. So, uh, quick thoughts on the chapter, because, again, not a lot was done. I can see kind of why I'm going to make a few guesses as to why Matsumoto-san might be taking a break. Because uh, I just recorded the chapter reaction review for the previous chapter. And in and I was kind of speculating on may whether maybe we would see a potential time skip in the series already, like not like a major one, it's not gonna be like a couple of years later or whatever. Uh, but even like you know, six to six months, eight months later, uh, potential time skip, I think is possible, especially so after this chapter with all the declarations and everything that uh, the characters are making. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. But I'm interested to see if there is going to be any kind of blowback with regards to the defense force kind of hiding the fact that, you know, uh, Isao got uh, consumed by, uh, absorbed into number nine. Because when we saw number nine, like, taking off in, like, his, you know, half-blown-off body, he was able to transform into Isao's face. So I wonder if he's going to keep the... I wonder if he's only now able to transform, like, his human form will look like Isao. Because I feel like that would be at least partially effective kind of psychological warfare against at least the grunts, you know, kind of seeing that, you know, one of the defense forces greatest has been uh, taken over by kaijus now fighting on their side. Uh, so I wonder if we're going to see any blowback from the fact that they're kind of pretending that, you know, he's just died and they're going to try to take him out before anyone can figure out uh, what really happened to him. Uh, so that could potentially be an interesting uh, future plot point set up. Uh, yeah, the fact that we're seeing the other divisions makes me hopeful that maybe we will see them either, you know, deployed into battle, we'll see them like, you know, in the different areas, whatever, or maybe we'll potentially see the characters doing a rotation through all the different bases to kind of learn, you know, what their specialties are, uh, learn like what the different divisions, different aspects of the defense force do. Uh, so that could be kind of an interesting way to kind of introduce all the uh, other division captains, potentially learn about the other kaiju weapons that are in circulation, uh, things like that. Uh, so again, interesting potential setup for the future. Already commented on it, but oh god, that Kikoru panel hits really damn hard. Just very, very well done. Uh, but yeah, like Narumi saying, like, you know, he's basically going to take Kikoru under his wing and make sure that, you know, She's going to realize her full potential along with Kafka going like, you know, I swear I'm going to kick number nine's ass makes me think time skip or at least there has to be like some kind of training montage or like something for them to like better understand and utilize their powers. Uh, but we'll see what happens with that. Still too early to tell. I am curious like what that black streak is because I think the implication, I don't know if the implication is that, you know, Kafka's emotions are kind of causing him to subtly transform like partially transform into kaiju number eight like he was doing before or whether the implication is like the more that he uses the kaiju powers like the more he draws them out the more or the greater the chance that the uh that the transformation is going to become permanent i don't know if that's the implication it's like you know there'll be a point of no return where he won't be able to turn back into a human or they won't be able to cure him uh, so I wonder if that's going to be the same with Asao. I wonder if they're going to explore that with Asao as well, potentially, whether it'll turn out, you know, that he's able to wrest away control from number nine or if, like, number nine's completely 
consumed his consciousness along with his body, like whether it's even possible uh, for him to return to normal. Uh, but yeah, I think this chapter, not a lot goes on. I think it sets up a lot of potential future, interesting angles for the future. Uh, so we'll have to see how much that plays or how well it plays out. Uh, but yeah, not much more to say with regards to that. Uh, like I said, uh, it looks like the manga is on a break for at least a month. Uh, so hopefully by the time it comes back, I should hopefully be able to get back to doing uh, the reactions when the chapters come out. I know I've been a little lax with kind of uh, doing it as the chapters come out. But hopefully when it comes back, I'll be able to hopefully get back to doing that properly. Uh, like I said, after this, I'm also going to get around to the Spy Family reaction reviews as well. And I'll get those out uh, sometime today. Uh, I mentioned this at the start of the other kaiju video, but yeah, I don't know when or if read throughs are gonna. Well, I shouldn't say if. I don't know when read throughs are gonna come back. Uh, I'll have to wait till I think things settle down once they feel a little bit more stable. Uh, uh, then I'll do some kind of announcement. I'll let you all know uh, with regards to that. So just keep an eye out on the channel. Uh, but in the meantime, I really do appreciate you know, everyone's support and for sticking around with me. Uh, even though the content has been kind of sporadic. Uh, with that said, as always, if you like my content, you know, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I would really love to get over that uh, 150 subscriber number in 2022. Uh, if I could get to 200 this year, that would be really great, but it uh, feels like an ambitious goal, so we'll see how well that shakes out uh, with regards to everything else. Uh, apart from that, take care of yourselves, you know, with COVID and everything else uh, going on, you know, do the best that you can. And until next time, this is Ash. Talk to you all later.